on Islam Entertainment and uh, welcome back to another video so this time we're gonna be doing a tutorial I haven't done one of these in a while now actually and uh, in this one I'm gonna be showing you how to make 3d text in paint.net and um, it's not just regular paint you have to make uh, make well you have to download a program called paint.net now if you already have it um, you just have to go you have to go down in the description to download some add-ons and um, once you download those uh, you can get started with your uh, 3D text so let's go ahead and hop into paint.net and just wait yeah it, it crashes sometimes but okay so here we go Okay, so um, now we have this image, and you want to grab a text. I'm going to get it bigger like that. I'm going to just write, uh, I don't know, I'm just going to write SOE, or, or, or um, how about we just try YO. Okay, YO. And then, uh, once you have, well, if you don't have these add-ons that I showed you, you won't have as many of this stuff. You'll just have like I think to around here. I'm not sure. I don't remember. I've I've had these add-ons for a while. But uh, first of all, once you get your text, oh 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 yeah, yeah I forgot I forgot about this. Uh, so need to make a new layer actually. So this is the background. Cause uh, yeah okay. So let's just add a new layer and then add the text once you're on this new layer okay and now go to layers uh, rotate zoom and then you can roll and rotate now let me get this straight if you didn't add the new layer if I just delete this layer and just add the text here then if I rotate it zoom here it would uh, rotate and zoom the whole thing so yeah uh, you have to add a new layer. So let's go ahead and do that. And now layer, rotate, zoom. And just rotate it a bit, not too much. Put it in the middle. And now, once you have the add ons that I gave you, you go into effects. Come on and go down to render and add depth and now you can also choose in which direction in which direction you want to add the depth um, so I guess this will do fine and you can adjust the depth but don't add too much because it'll just look plain weird just add a little bit and uh, that can be like like that let's just do high quality mode I never really tried that anyway so yeah 20 should do about that so yeah that's pretty much how you do it uh, nothing really special about it it's really quick really easy so um, yeah pretty much that's about it guys and uh, yeah actually I'll show you um, a picture of you know uh, I added a few more effects and things like that. And if you want to, if you guys want a tutorial on how to do that, it's like really quick, easy. Um, just how to make your uh, picture look cool and stuff. So yeah, we'll be right back. The kind of picture that I made. This is my current uh, profile picture on YouTube. Um, as you can see, it's perfectly good quality. Um, I just made it with what I showed you. Just go into Paint.net and um, put in uh, an, a background that you want. You can also make, um, you know, widescreen photos, but because, you know, profile pictures uh, don't have widescreen on them, so I had to find something like this. And you just put a background in there, and then you add layers, uh, you add a layer, put a text, uh, add some depth to it, make sure, make sure you find a cool font. Uh, I found this font at I don't remember exactly, but uh, just tell me if you guys want a tutorial. It's also, the add-ons add a lot of cool things to uh, to Paint.net, so you can explore by yourself and uh, check out what you can do with your text. 
and that's what I did. I just added a glow, added the um, outline, and uh, made it 3D, add depth, and things like that. So yeah, guys, thank you for watching. And if you want a tutorial, of course, feel free. Tell me in the um, tell me in the description. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. Peace out.